it does look like at least Rishi is ready. Oh no, we are in. We're in. We're missing them. They're We're missing them. Ready? Yeah, no, okay, no, no. They're, 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 raring, they're raring to go. Damn, Rishi, you coming back quick and they're fast. Let me go ahead and put that in display capture, but I, um, Porter, don't worry about it. I'll get you in there as well. Oh, that's very kind of you. That's very kind of you. That should not have been missed. Maybe I just forgot. Hey, you know, it's fair. It's fair. You know, if we're roasting each other, it's, it's, I see how it is. It's fine. You will be the masturbator. You will be there one day. Oh, that's very kind of you. But Speaking next day, way, you'll be there. Let's go. I'll start the mm -hmm. predictions. One minute, guys. Speaking of which, we got Bait Kinu. Oh, no, it's Beta Doro on uh, Turby's side. That's what it is. But one moment remember? before we start, guys, if you need any kind of art made, please contact them on this. They are always happy to make arts for you and they will try their best to get whatever you would require. And quarter off to you. Thank you very much indeed. I was just reminding everybody that yes, no, Turby's bait is absolutely and definitely on the Adoro. That's what it's on. It's on the Adoro. We saw it. It's there. Um, so after that, of course, we do see the slingshot ban from uh, Turby onto the uh, Volcrane. Very reasonable there. And then a guy's ban. Always a good thing to deal with if you don't have uh, effective tools against it. And uh, Rishi's got a lot to deal with on Turby's team. We've seen that Turby's team is a whole kettle of fish. After I'm that, though, prediction, Rishi, don't worry. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no worries. Uh, there, there's a lot that's working on in the background there. We do see that uh, Kinu is immediately picked up by Turby, followed by, of course, the Yuka Hazrat. This is becoming a staple of early Arbory in terms of the game. Uh, we see Yuka Hazrat pretty consistently here. You get your water cannon, you get your lava wave, you just go to heck in town. Outside of that, though, my question is, what is Turby going to be bringing to respond to this? Honestly, I still think Cycrox looks pretty nice there, especially if this is water synthesized. It's not going to really have too much to fear there. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. And then on top of that, we've got the fact that, you know, Rishi started with his bait. So, uh, oh, no. <laughs> I sure do hope Turby is not planning on just like slamming into the, uh, actually, no, 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 no. What am I thinking? He's probably going to be beta bursting to proc the bait and then stoneballing. So that's something Rishi's going to need to be aware of. Unless we just see uh, Rishi double into the Kinu spot. What are we thinking here, Saga? Do we think there that is... this is just gonna be like a lava wave and a water cannon into that? Lava Way Water Cannon looks definitely nice. The question is, do you think Rishi is actually running the new mental move on Ukama? Although it doesn't do anything much spectacular, but in a niche scenario, it might just work out. Right now, it doesn't matter, but I wonder if he's running it. I don't think he's running it because I honestly don't think that's excessively good on Yukama. It's one priority and you kind of want to avoid those. Like Blizzard is very strong because it specifically deals with a type that Yukama can't hit otherwise. Like mm -hmm, the weight enough. coverage there is really important because you can't hit that with water. Whereas like with uh, Rishi, like and and like, you know, with, with Yukama and the denigrate option, it's like, you can hit melees anyway. You can hit neutrals anyway. They're, they're not the ones that are giving you grief. That is definitely true. I can see what you mean. So with that, we're into our first game there, as oh, we can see. Oh, no. Oh? What's, what's the oh no? Oh, <laughs> no! Yeah, sorry, I only just caught that. That's that's a rough one. Well, I'll, I'll be happy to give the play-by-play -play while you go ahead and restart again. I'm sorry you've been caught in this again there. Uh, I, I'll, I'm following along on my own screen, so I will just make sure to quickly do that again here. As uh, once again, we've got, of course, Hazrat Yukama on Rishi's side. We got Kinu Corrin on uh, Turby's side. We got the mom's lunch happening, stopping the fake beard and exhausting Yukama. And of course, Ginu is just there giving protector to Corrin, which has that tasty buff. The question is, is Rishi going to be then going for anything else there? We do know that, of course, the uh, bait is on Adora, so we don't have anything here to worry about. We could just see a water cannon into Corrin, but the question then becomes, uh, what else are we going to see here? We have the bait on Yukama, obviously, which is something that Turby has to work around. <laughs> Mm 
Uh, do you, are you hopping into your alt again? Or are you hopping into your main? Uh, we do see the contagious proc on Takinu there as Grumper hops in on that side. Uh, no worries, no worries. And uh, we got double value. That's four procs there as Cycrox hops in as well. So now I guess we just have to ask the question of like, where is the... Um, damage going the water synthesizer comes down into the cycrox as uh yeah no hazrat just heats up that feels pretty good uh we don't have any cage available on turby sides this is just a pretty easy swap from rishi out from the hazrat into probably what calibus calibus feels pretty reasonable here because that still gives water cannon synergy or even aquatic still an option into the grumper which is definitely the more spooky option there given the fact that we have core sorry uh grumper and cycrox available on turby's side at the moment having swapped into the kinu and the corin respectively eating that water cannon with uh the uh water synthesize great stuff Good so my, my account is generally screwed up i think when i try to expect it i'm just gonna use my second account i guess it's still not working yeah, no, that's deeply concerning. We do see the Grumper has swapped out again. It does not get additional Contagious procs thanks to that Chamomile. Uh, so we at least don't have that. Um, the Lava Wave is going to be smashing into that Kinu, though, as it hops back in and just deletes it from the board. The Lava Wave, however, does overexert the Hazrat thanks to that mom's launch that happened there as the water cannon will once again do absolutely bubkiss to this water synthesizer Cycrox. If you didn't think this trait was good, hopefully you'll reconsider that after this didn't take any damage. Two turns in a row. Great stuff. Um... Man, uh, so one other upside of that though is that the uh, Kinu went down before the Digi Thread. Say something, Quarter. Hello, hello, I am alive. Hello, are we all here? Yep, it's working. Let's go. Okay, fantastic. That's what we like to hear. All right, so Ooh. as we can see, Magmoot has entered. It did take a significant amount of damage on that re-entry. Sadly, we missed a uh, couple turns there, thanks to that little bit of technical difficulties, but I appreciate everybody's patience inside this. Um, we do see that the Barnshi gets absolutely obliterated by this Grumper, which just destroys it. Uh, Thunderstrike is just how that goes, but Magmoot is here. It is going to be throwing down a soul shout with the delicious Ora 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 energy that it's got there, uh, almost taking down Grumper in the process, but Digithreat is going to be slapping it back pretty hard, and by pretty hard, I mean it's going to heal back all of that as uh, Slingshot doesn't act, well, procs, meaning that it didn't even do 20%, uh, percent. and the combination of Nutritious, uh, uh, nutritious Bar and... Uh, Spec Gulp brings it right back up. That was effectively a heal. If I'm seeing this right, Richie basically decided to sacrifice the Banshee, right? Because yeah. Ukama and Calibus were not taking that Red Thunder Strike well as well. If they do. Yeah, and Hazrat needs to be at full HP to deal with Mawman's late game. It's heated up, it's the tool against it, and he needs Ukama and Calibus to deal with Corrin. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, we just missed a few turns, but I just see so many buffs being applied already. Looks like there's a slingshot here that has been doing work. Yes, Plus it's been doing work a couple turns in a row is the thing. Um, but the... Yeah, no, that's that's the main part of it. Um, I believe there was also... No, I don't think there was a stone wall. I missed, I missed a turn myself as we were trying to sort things out in the chaos. But uh, Lava Wave is still going to be careening into this Grumper trying to uh, sever it from this mortal coil. Uh, we see even more kicks, however, as this Mawmance is just kicking and getting its slingshot up as uh, Turby is definitely taking advantage of the low offensive options of this Mawmance. Well, as we continue here, though... Hmm? I was thinking, does Grumper living on 1.1% really benefit Turby or not? Because he he could have gotten a free swap, but maybe he did not need that free swap. Because Corrin doesn't look good, but Cycrox would have been good. But I don't know if he wanted that free swap and he is stuck with the Grumper right now in the field. So, like, that Grumper is still going to be doing damage and it's still something that ultimately, as you can see, Rishi has to spend another turn not damaging Mawmats for. Mm -hmm. That's another proc for um, the illustrious 
pack in uh, Slingshot, potentially. Obviously, Momence does rest this turn, but it's another opportunity for it to just, like, keep getting bulkier. Damn, that is a thick boy, if one. Oh, yeah, no, it's a thick-ass boy. Uh, very, very impressive indeed. Plus four on its defenses at this point, thanks to the options of Slingshot right now. So, uh, no, that thing ain't going down anytime soon. Uh, Calibus, however, is uh, certainly something that can threaten Corrin in the right circumstance. And uh, we still have the Yukama here for that as well. Problem is that Cycrox just eats up the, like, the real power of, like, this is something that's very similar, I'll say again, to how yeah. Turby made this team in early Sipanku, which is that Cycrox with Water Synthesizer is there as a pivot. It's like, you know, you want to hit the Corrin, but you hit the Cycrox and you did absolutely nothing, nothing. and you wasted stamina. And you, well, if it was damaged, you healed him. Technically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, it, it's really rough there. Still, though, we do see Momens uh, get a cheeky revitalize off onto the Corrin. As um, a Toxic Ink will be landing in on it, and the Stonewall, Stoneball does land in on Yukama, which, of course, takes it like a champ. Yukama has a mm, hold on. It does have Aquatic Whirlwind, but we're right back to that sentence I just said. Yeah, it's just uh, gonna be yeah. the trap, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, this is the trap right here. Uh, you don't do enough damage to Mallmans. Cycrox dooms you if it exists, and Corrin makes everything both bulkier and ruins a lot of the things that it can actually hurt Mallmans. So now the question is, did Rishi read the swap? If he did Blizzard, then he did, but looks like he did not, and he will be doing oh. nothing. And we're back at it again with the Resin Trap landing in on Yukama and doing a pretty reasonable chunklet to it. As we can see here, Mallman's, it's its not about doing a, an excessive amount of damage. It's about outpacing you and just making you feel terrible about the absence of damage you did. Also, we noticed that that is a nutrition bar on Cycrox. That's pretty cool to see. Yeah, you very rarely see that. But I guess that Ukama is dead now because, well, Cyprox is very happy to take him down. Uh, yeah, no, it's um, definitely a spooky thing in terms of that. As Wobble said as well, we do also have the option of Psychosis on Karin. I think that is the least powerful option that Turby has. But, uh, you know, it still is one. Uh, if we just see, like, Karin versus Calibus or something like that. At this point, I think that um, Turby just focuses things down and keeps on pushing here. Uh, like, as you can see, Rishi is in a horrible spot to try to continue keeping this damage up uh, as his water tools are steadily vanishing. I'm kind of, hmm, kind of stuffed in between. Personally, I do Oh, sorry, you go ahead. No, no, you go ahead, you're... Cool, cool, you're cool. Good. Um, yeah, no, my basic thought is, um, if he just focuses Mawmans instead with a combination of water and fire, that's actually not a bad option here, because then you're at least hitting the car, and if it decides to swap in, and you're still smacking with Hazrat. Uh, cause seizing the Corrin, honestly, removing Sweatband for a couple turns, that's actually really important on Corrin. It still hates it. Uh, it, it really needs a stamina item to really feel comfortable on any board. Uh, especially if you've specced it to need Sweatband, which, you know, if you want to really make the most of a town, you do tend to spec things that way. That's true. Hmm. That said, it is plus four, plus four, plus four. So, it's like, the other way that... Yeah. The that other way Turby it. gets you is just, you know, if he's buffed enough, then he can just shove that in your face and force but... you to push pressure into it. Yeah, he can just revitalize whenever he feels like it, but still, the poison ticks are working at the moment. But last time it was the same, uh, when we were watching the Swiss, it went to really down and then it came back up by healing. Yep. And there's the Cycrox taking the Lava Wave instead. That's some pretty good stuff right there. As uh, we see a Toxic Ink onto that as well. It's barely any damage, but that ship is still a good amount of something. 
as uh, Hazrat is caught a little out in the open by this Corrin, because now, of course, you know, we got the stone ball uh, looking pretty sussy into there, because that will still actually hit the magma pretty hard as well. It would have definitely been hitting both of them hard, and Hazrat still took a good hit, but... Oh, there is a surrender coming in, and Rishi will be taking the win away here. Now, looking at that, what we can generally assume there is that, um, like, basically, if Rishi had continued focusing the Cycrox there, there wasn't very much that uh, Turby could do. Because Turby, well, the moment he sees that he's that his back is in any way against the wall inside those circumstances, he's not going to play it out. He knows, he knows he's done, especially when he knows he has more games to play, which is entirely what we're going to see. This is if Turby manages to pull his strings back and we have a rubber match then. But let us see what does Turby do now. Does he decide to go with a different set of bands or does he go with the same bands? That's a good question. And no, I hate Tuesday. It is a best of three in the finals this time. Uh, we do try to like uh, broadcast whether that's best of three or five at the beginning of uh, any tournament. Uh, and if you check the the uh, tournament listing using, I believe, exclamation tournament, you'll see the rules there. That is accurately spoken. Hasbrot is banned actually this time around from Turby. Okay, I completely respect that ban from Turby. That Hasrad scaled up far too well, and it abs it put all of Turby's good tools at risk. The problem is now he has to deal with things like uh, Barnshi, Mix. There's a lot of other tools there that are really troublesome if uh, Rishi bans uh, appropriately. Now, once again, of course, we've seen the Nagais as the first ban literally every single time. He has to, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but the two vi sorry, the two wire picked up first here is rather interesting because that's just there for uh, nullification, common factor and whatnot. But this does mean that Rishi's going to take advantage of that, just putting his two fires in. Uh, I can't help but wonder if this was something that was intentionally done for greed or something like that. But we do see the Adoros being hovered over as the Synergy Master and Bait is available right there. So um, here we are. We are back to square one. Panda, you can say Rishi has the spec gulp as well, right? The special attacking one. Yeah. Yeah, he's got spec gulp, meaning that Faraday is going to clap regardless. I mean, it's it's not it's going to be nullified, so it's not going to be like super effective damage, but it's still synergy master Faraday cage. That's not an easy thing, especially mm -hmm. like fortunately for us and for, you know, Rishi, uh, this Adoro does not have handcuffs. It's bait. I will say again, because I really like reaffirming that it has bait. It's just a thing I enjoy doing. OK, nice. Um, nice. yeah. Exactly. It's just like being thorough like that. Like like the fact that Turby got his Kinu band, which is also a very reasonable thing to say. Mm -hmm. That is very fair um, enough. Yeah, I which means that we're not going to see this nullification get over like overridden by a handcuff Z-Manip in turn one, meaning this Faraday cage would be absolutely chonking this mammoth that d magma that does not actually heal off of that. Speaking of which, we see little Wally get banned out as well. This makes a lot of sense because this means that it's likely Turby's going to be focusing on Earths this match. Whether he has the tools to focus on Earths this match, I don't know because I think Cycrox is the other thing he really is going to need for winning here. But we do have that Barnshi in the back that I think it's entirely good for Rishi to pick up here. Yeah, and Turby picking up the Mon Mace is also good because Gamma is kind of weak to it. After it is a little bit stacked up, and so is Calibus as well if it is the stacked up. Banshee is definitely dying to it in two shots we have seen before. Not the same Banshee, but we still have seen it before. Yep. It does look like a strong pick in this matchup. Yeah, it's it's clear. Once again, in terms of draft, when you're looking at um, Turby Squad, it's, it's more like picking your toolkit in a long-term sort of adventure than anything else, because... Like, yeah, you've got your specific thing for dealing with that Tem, and you either need to save it for that Tem or know that you're sacrificing it for a very good reason, right? Like, if Rishi gets roosed into a position where he needs to use that Barnshee for something else, then, and, and that Barnshee dies, then what's he doing about the Psycrox outside of, like, steadily whittling away at it with Magmoot? Mm. If you take a look at this... Mm -hmm. Well, there is one bait on the field, definitely, and looks like Rishi is not buying it, but he still has to kind of buy it because it will be attacking that spot. The 
Faraday cage must be coming in. It is not going on Mac. Mac, but actually it is going on Okama. Oh wait, never mind. It's actually the bait. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, sorry man, it is that easy to forget sometimes, but the Yukama takes one for the team. As uh, it will be going down to these poison takes after the end of it, but it does mean we have a very healthy magma at the end of it as well. <laughs> look, look, I'm not going to push the issue because I know how easy it is to fall for that kind of stuff. Because it really looks like they just targeted the other spot unless you watch yeah. the proc. That's the other I, problem with this. I love it's it so heck way. confusing. What goes around comes around. I see, <laughs> I'm getting baited now. Look, it's fine. Sometimes I forget to update my stream titles. It happens to everybody. That's fair enough. That reminds me it's not updated. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even mean to roast you for that. I'm sorry. Are you sure? <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so Calavis in Please. on the magma spot after those buffs as the energy manipulation goes in on the Yukama just to make sure it has an even worse time at life. Uh, however, Axolotus is still going to get a little bit of a water cannon in for good measure. It's not much, but you know, it's something. Uh, we get a Faraday cage in onto the Calibus as well, just to make sure that it gets isolated. There's not much else that it gets off of that, but you know, it's something. Um, I don't think that Turby actually needed that hardcore turn that round because the previous turn hit so good. Um, honestly, like, you know, the, the bait there, like, that was really a sacrifice of that Yukama so that Magmut could get set up, which is very important. Like, that means suddenly it can really push in a way that it otherwise couldn't, but it needed that. It definitely did. Now, the real question is, do you think the bunch, uh, the Adoroboros is gonna stay in or just back out of here? Because it definitely does not want to stay in front of a Banshee and... While Grumper looks like a really good swap in there, but still Calibus water attack can be going on that Grumper spot, but I think Grumper can tank that pretty nicely. And again, well, Tuwire staying in or not is a question again, but Tuwire can hit the Banshee pretty hard as well. I mean, my question is, when's Rishi going to finagle his Volcrane coming in? If he anticipated this, um... Bar this uh, two-wire hopping out, is he just going to be staying in and throwing aggression into the Grumper spot anyways with something like Beta Burst? Or, okay, this is going to sound like a meme, but, you know, Barnshee gets hook kick now. It does get Wait, hook what? kick. Yeah, Wait, no, really? it does. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even joking. This isn't even a lie. But no, it's it's an energy manipulation into Mom Ends, but like... Uh, uh, Towly, the baby version of Barnshee, gets hook kick as an egg move to give to Owl He. Ah, I see. Which you can also give to Barnshee as a result of that. So, like, you can see Hook Kick Barnshee now. It exists. I but, swear um, to God, I'm going to be surprised in one of these matches. Or one of, like, when I'm doing ladder, I'm just going to be surprised by random ass stuff coming my way. And I'm like, what? Yeah, no, it, it's, 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 there's there's so much this Pash saga. Isn't it's actually more, it's actually crazy. Um, still, though, uh, we do see that Momens has been trapped in thanks to the energy manipulation of this Barnshee, which is actually really valuable stuff. Because, uh, as we are both aware, the bait has already been triggered by Turby, so now Momens can just get hammered. It does have kick, so it can start getting its, uh, procs up, so that is something, but it's not gonna happen enough. Because, uh, we did already see that- oh, wait, 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 wait. Did that actually proc bait, or was that just hitting into that spot? It was hitting into that spot, okay. <laughs> It was not a bait, it was just hitting on that spot. We have a hook coming in, slingshot coming in. Four stats up, synergy master, digit threat coming in. It will be taking the Banshee down to 50.3% neutrality, no doom being applied. Yeah, it is pretty chilling right now, but... Well, that Volcrane is slowly starting to build up. Yep, no, that Volcrane building up is very important there. The Battle of the Slingshots has begun in this second game of our Grand Final. Uh, definitely some strong stuff. And, uh, yeah, no, I agree, Gagbomb. Uh, Turby is not in the best position here. The fact that this Momens has been trapped in like this is actually pretty crippling. Uh, rough position, as, uh, we do see the Adoro does just get taken down by the Wind Burst. And, uh, oh, no. The kicks begin. The battle of slingshots begin. Get your tickets to the nearest one today. Oh man. 
All right, so uh, as we can see here, we do still have uh, Magmoot as well that can come in and have just a fantastic time inside this. Common Factor um, is available thanks to uh, Turby bringing in the old two wire there. Um, I, I do still think that this Barnshee's probably swapping. Like, I don't see that sucker staying in, but like, uh, Calibus. Calibus is a fun Tim that hasn't seen a lot of play, that doesn't immediately die to the Faraday cage. It could be. I mean, technically, it should. The thing is, can he get the synergy? Mm, Sac if Sacrox comes in, that is a synergy for Faraday cage, but Banshee can be attempt. <sighs> No, Cycrox okay. isn't a synergy for Faraday Cage. There's no synergy for Faraday Cage here anymore. Wait, what? Cycrox is toxic. Uh, Faraday Cage is synergizes with Mental Saga. Wait, Potter. Hello? Yeah. Faraday Cage is toxic synergy. It's no. Oh, sorry. I, I was talking to G Threat. I'm sorry. Yeah. Whoops. Okay, you just set me down there for a second. I was like, wait, what? I got mixed up in terms of those. The Faraday Cage yeah, onto the two wire is definitely a problem. Yes, you're talking about Digitred. Yep, 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 yep. I got mixed up there. I got mixed up. It's fine. Hmm. We have the hook kicks. I uh, saw the slingshots going in again. This is like Serenif, but better. We keep blocking all those stats up. I don't know. I just feel like slingshot buffing up battles are not as boring as Serenif revitalize, bush revitalize, bush battles. I think that this Mallman's in particular has a very distinct way of buffing into this that is pretty exciting, honestly. Um, like, don't get me wrong, it's kind of like, you know, in the wrong circumstance, it can get soul crushing because of the digi threat options there. And the, the Mallman's doing digi threat shenanigans and the Psychrox is why I kept focusing in on that digi threat, being like, yikes. Um, when, when you were talking about that Faraday there, like, dang, but like, yeah. um, in terms of this, though, uh, it's just not scaling as well as Rishi has already managed to scale based on the reads that Turby has. And this goes down to the player psychology between these two, which is that Turby plays big early to try to get the effective reads on his opponent to get as much positioning so that way he can grind it out later, which hasn't wound up happening. Let me do get the delicious kick KO into Slingshot, which we do love to see here. As, um, well, Magma's in, and it's ready to have a good time. The, um, the, neut the nullification is gone from Mawman's, but now it has gotten, what, three? Yeah, no, three slingshot buffs off, which outpaces Magma's, uh, little puny baby madness buff there. Wow. Can you imagine a world in which madness buff is outpaced so easily? It is really hard, but... Wait, so... Sh no, we still do see the Soul Shout come in onto the Psychrox as the uh, Mawmance gets hit by the Toxic Ink there. We did see spread damage, but I believe that's more just to make sure that, um, you know, you get a little bit of focus damage onto Mawmance because it's so monstrous now, you get me? That just healed a double of what the damage went there. Yep, and I agree it's beautiful. You. It's beautiful. I love this. Yeah, hey, look at that. I, th I don't Stop get tired it, of that. Get some help. <laughs> no, nah, Nutrition Bar and Spec Gulp together is just crazy into this. As uh, Magmut's feeling fine into that. Uh, yeah, no, Spec Gulp is crazy. Magmut is uh, honestly very intimidating. Uh, as... Oh, oh, oh no! no! Rest in Kirby peace. taps that at the last hurdle because Magmut just eats whatever he gives him and will be able to outpace that damage with the madness buff as well opping that special defense well played to both of our finalists 